Hey everybody, it's Carolyn Rodriguez here. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Yes, workout gear and all. Having a little trouble with the internet, so if you're just joining me now, thanks for your patience. It is, I have to go in another room. Here I am in my living room. Anyway, uh, it is Tuesday, July the 9th. And yeah, gonna go out for a bike ride. It's a beautiful uh, day out in the Blue Mountain area. I love, love, love riding the trails. And anyhow, um, yeah, stuff happening in my house. My husband's working, doing some jobs outside. But hey, beautiful, beautiful day here. So if you're joining me, hey Cindy, nice to see you. I have some stuff I wanna share with you today. What's shaking in your neck of the woods, Miss Cindy? Hello, hello, hello. I know, it's not Monday. You guys are like, it's Tuesday at noon. Carolyn, what are you doing here? So guys, let's just get going because I, um, yeah, I have some thoughts I wanna share with you. Uh, I'm excited to be here and um, yeah, the art of allowing. That's what I want to talk about today. Hey, Nina, nice to see you. You look great as well. Love following all my ISA people. And um, yeah, my husband's just trying to, honey, you can just get up and walk by. It's okay. It's hard. I'm, I'm monopolizing the living room here. So I'm normally in my little cubby hole in the back of the house. So guys, today I want to talk about this, this idea of the art of allowing, right? That's one of the concepts of the law of attraction. And um, so I'm just going to read you what Esther Hicks says. I follow Esther Hicks. I love her teachings. The law of attraction says the essence of that, I know this language is kind of weird, the essence of that which is like unto itself is drawn. What does that mean? Let me just give you an example. So if you are, um, if you're, say, feeling unappreciated um, because of circumstances in your life, um, the law of attraction cannot now surround you with people who appreciate you. That would defy the law of attraction. So if you think about a magnet, like attracts like. So if you're thinking this, the law of attraction can was going to give you that, right? So when you try to put magnets together, like, you know what I mean? Sometimes they're attracted and sometimes they repel. So think about that. So I, I, I copy this version of, uh, from the dictionary. What does it mean? Uh, the, the, what does the word allow means? It's, it, this is where your personal power lives. And um, so this is allow, it's a verb. To give permission for something to happen or for somebody to do something to let somebody or something enter into uh, your, you know, where you are, your place, to let somebody or yourself have something, often a benefit or a pleasure of some kind. So I'm just gonna ask my husband if he'll close his office door because I can hear his computer. So Steve, thanks for doing that, appreciate it. That's what happens when you're in a house where there's a lot of stuff going on, right? This is just, just life. So give me one second. Steve, can you just close your office door, please? I'm just gonna go do that. It's the TV downstairs, it's not his office. Okay, well, it's the TV, it's not the office. Hey, stuff happens. So, all right, let's just get back to business. So the, the law of allowing, um, and this is what Esther Hicks says, conscious, gentle guiding of your thoughts in the general direction of the things you desire. And again, I follow Esther Hicks. I listen to her videos every morning because it puts me in that state of mind of the things that maybe aren't working out the way I want. So this is what she says. What prevents, what is it that prevents people from getting control of a situation uh, and feeling empowered is the belief that they need to get where they want to be right now or as quickly as possible. And in her opinion, that this is what sets up resistance. So when you feel the urge that you're not where you want to be, you need to be somewhere else, you, uh, you want to be somebody else, you want to achieve something else, and it's not happening right away, this is, this is you working against 
where you are right now. So if it's not happening right now and your thought process takes you to the place of what's going on, is it my time, I'm just gonna adjust my camera here, is it my time, why isn't it happening fast enough, then you are going to attract all of those reasons why it's not happening fast enough. So to give you an analogy of how to apply this, you guys, Esther Hicks talks about the idea of upstream and downstream thinking. All right? How do we, um, how do we, how we, how we as individuals create resistance versus ease? Right? Because the art of allowing is all about ease, letting go, letting things happen, thinking and focusing on what you want versus what you don't want. So think about this. Right? This is. This is, you know, summertime, what are people doing? They're riding their bikes, and I was riding the other day, and I was riding like into the wind, and I was huffing and puffing, and the wind was blowing in my face, and I thought, this is gonna be fun when I turn my bike around, and now I'm gonna be riding with the wind, right? So if you're, um, I see the kayakers, when I used to live on the water, the kayakers are paddling, and sometimes the waves are coming at you, right? So. Think about that analogy. So if you are running, if you are paddling, and the current is against you, the wind is against you, if you were to just drop your oars, if you were to turn things around, hey Mohammed, hey Rina, nice to see you guys. If you were to drop your oars and just let you know the current in the stream turn you around, and now you're going, have you heard this? Going with the flow, right? Letting that Letting the current, letting letting the current take you downstream, letting the wind carry you, and boy, does that ever feel nice? Because I did this 40k ride from uh, my place in Blue Mountain up to the next little town, Thornberry, and it was work, like biking uphill, wind in our face, resist.